Hello everyone, welcome to Sunday worship service. I'm so glad you guys can make it. At this time, let's all arise from our seat and recite the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended to hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Alright guys, let's get into our Bible memory verse. Let's repeat this month's Bible memory verse together. Ready, set, go. And without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists, and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. And it's from Hebrews 11, verse 6. Alright guys, let's take this time to review last week's part. Let's review it together. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. And it's from Hebrews 11, verse Verse 6. Alright, let's see if we were able to uh, memorize it. Alright. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. And it's from Hebrews 11, verse 6. Alright, let's get into this week's part together. Because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists. Alright, let's take this time to read it out loud to ourselves and let's memorize it together. Ready, set, go. Because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists. Because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists. Anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists. Alright, let's review. Let's see if we were able to memorize it. Alright. Because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists. And it's from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Alright, great job guys. You know, I know we said it last week, but throughout the week... Let's um, keep this in our mind and let's keep our eyes fixed on the Lord throughout the week, whether we are at school or with friends or with family. And let's go into time of body worship together. Alright guys, let's get up and let's worship the Lord. Alone. I will 
Let's put our hope in our load. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are a good, good Father. You are creator of heaven and earth, and you uh, show such amazing love to us, Lord. Father, we want to learn more about you today. Father, help us understand you and your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank you. And we pray all this in your Son's name, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, guys, let's welcome Pastor Moses as he come up and give us today's sermon. So let's all give him a warm welcome. Pastor Moses, woo! Yeah. yeah. All right, thank you for that warm welcome. Today's uh, Bible passage comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verse six. It's just one verse, Isaiah 53, six. If we could read in one voice together, this is the word of God. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this time that we can learn more about you, that we could um, really uh, learn about how much you love us and how much you care for us. And I just pray that you will help us to understand, to believe that uh, you exist, that you care, that uh, you are watching from heaven above, and that you desire for us to also love you. So help us, God, 
to know you, to love you more through this worship time, through your word today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When we have a problem, then oftentimes we need to find a solution. Um, life is full of problems. For example, um, if there's a fire, hopefully there's never a fire, but if there were to be a fire, we don't just say, wow, there's a fire, uh, that's nice. We say, wow, this is a big problem, I need help, I need a solution. What is the solution to a fire? It could be firemen, it could be a hose, it could be something, right? We need a solution to put out that problem. Okay? When we're feeling sick and medicine doesn't seem to be helping us, what do we need to do? Do we just say, ah, I'll get better. When it keeps getting worse and worse, what do we do? Ah, it's okay, I'll be fine. No, we go to the doctor. Right? And we say, doctor, this, these are the things that are happening. These are the problems that are in my life, in my body. Can you help me? And so the doctor, hopefully with a smile, checks these things and, and says, oh, I think these are the problems. Here is what you should do. They give you a solution. And the doctor is a solution. So when we have a problem, we need a solution. And a big reason why we come to church and learn about God is because we have a big problem. What is that problem? Okay, let's read Isaiah 53, 6 one more time together. One, two, three. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. God made us to love him and to share about him to the world, about how wonderful he is. Okay? But we have, like these sheep, if you look, these sheep are not together, they're not following uh, the shepherd, they're just all astray, roaming around. And we are like this sheep who have turned away from our master, our God, our Father. And we have not accepted his love, and we have tried to find love in other things apart from God. If our parents, if our friends never introduced us to God, then we would be even more like these sheep, roaming around, finding stuff, and we would never understand and experience God's amazing love. But the bigger problem is that if God doesn't help us, that we will um, not think about God forever. We will forget about God forever. And life without God is empty. Everyone say this together. One, two, three. Life without God is empty. Life is empty. Life is without joy if we do not know God. We will never experience true love from God without God. We will never experience how great heaven is. People assume we just go to heaven. It's a free, free pass. Without anything, without faith, without believing in God, believing in Jesus, just go to heaven. That's not true. Okay? We will lose all these things. So this is a very big problem. And this problem is so big that only God could provide the solution. And that solution is Jesus Christ. Everyone say, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Jesus Christ. And it was to send His Son, Jesus and we see here, to receive the punishment that we deserve, the Lord has laid on Him the iniquity. Our sins is iniquity. He laid our sins on Jesus, punished Jesus, and Jesus died so that we can be set free. Jesus died because we rejected God. It doesn't make sense, but Jesus was the sacrifice so that we didn't have to die. That Jesus died for us so that we could live and so that we could realize how awesome God is. When we believe that Jesus is our Savior who died for us, what God does is He forgives us and He gives us a new heart. A new heart that is able now to see, wow, God is awesome. God is wonderful. God does love me. God is caring. 
God will help me forever. God will take me to heaven. This new heart allows us, and it's not literally like a little red heart that He gives us, right? Inside of our hearts, He changes that heart so that we can now love God. So that we don't look all over the world and all over these things to find that love. He gives us that love when we believe in Him. So brothers and sisters, do you realize you have a big problem? That we have tried to find uh, love apart from God. We have rebelled from God. We have rejected God. What is the solution? Is it just to read the Bible? Is it just to pray? It is to trust in Jesus first, that He died for us. If we believe that, and if we believe He paid the punishment for us, for our sins, then God will give us a new heart that is now able to experience His great love. So, brothers and sisters, hopefully you see that God is our solution, that Jesus is our solution for this very, very big problem of sin. So hopefully you put your trust in Him. And just as you wouldn't look at that fire and say, ah, it's okay, it's fine. You would ask for help. You would ask for that solution. I hope that in a bigger way, you would say to Jesus, to God today, God, I want you to be my solution. I want you to be the one who helps me um, to forgive me and to give me this new heart that I can love you and understand and believe in your love. So, brother and sisters, hopefully Jesus is your solution. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you that you have allowed us to see that um, there are a lot of problems in this world and with any problem we look for a solution. But the biggest problem we have is that like sheep, we have, um, we have um, strayed from you. We have avoided you. We have rejected you. We have rebelled against you. And because of that, we never knew about your love. We never knew about how great you are. And because of that, we are uh, eternally separated from you. But um, Jesus paid the price that we deserve to pay for rebelling and rejecting you. Jesus received that punishment. If we believe in him, he is the solution. He gives us freedom so that we can now love you with this new heart. Um, and experience how great you are with this new heart. So give us a new heart. And please be our solution. And rescue us from our sin. And rescue us from the rebellion that we have been um, against you and against your son Jesus. May you be our solution. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Guys, uh, we have some announcements. Guys, it's been so long. I hope that we can meet face to face and have Sunday worship together. And if you're able to come on Sunday, please guys, always remember to wear your mask. And at this time, let's close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debt as we have also forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and glory forever. Amen. Alright guys, take care. Bye.